Hello and welcome to Adventurologists. My name is Kai and I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on Treaty 6 territory, the homeland of the Métis. Today, we are going to be looking a little bit at constellations. Now, in order to do that, we are going to be playing with a planisphere. This is a simple handheld device which shows a map. Here's the map here of which stars might be in the sky at any given time throughout the year. It's got the times here and then months and dates here. So you line up the month and the date with the time and it should show you in this little window the stars you see in the sky. Now I need to acknowledge that this planisphere I did get from inthesky.org and it will be linked in the description below. Now, constellations can rotate through the sky at 23 hours and 56 minutes instead of 24 hours like a typical day. So that means in a week, the stars rise half an hour, or a total of half an hour earlier than the sun. So you get different constellations throughout the year. So we have this planisphere here, but I'm also going to show you an online planisphere. It's called the Planetarium on this website, and we'll just move over there. Okay, so here we have the skylive.com. You just type that into the search bar on the top, and then once you get the website up, you're going to go over to where it says Planetarium, and you're going to click on that, and then it's going to show you what the sky might look like, but we're going to go over here and we're going to click on this little compass looking thing and it will allow us to change our location to Saskatoon. We'll click on that and then submit and then this is what the sky might look like outside right now. So you can drag your mouse around and have a look. You see the sun's still out. There's the sky. So what you can do on here that's pretty cool is you can go and click on this little clock and you can change the time. So we clicked on that and it comes up down here. We're going to move, the, um, move it from 341 to 1041 just to see the kind of difference that is here. So you can go ahead and have some fun playing around with that and seeing what constellations you might be able to find. And it's got good markers here. So there's south, west, north. If you look up north, there's lots of pretty stars. And just play around and see what you can find. Okay, now that we've had a chance to look at some constellations, we are going to move into our project. For that, we are going to need a permanent marker, a nail, a hammer, and a tin can. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fill our tin can with water, and we are going to freeze it. And once it's frozen, we can bring it out. And I'm going to put mine on a towel to make it a little, hopefully, less damaging to my table. And then I'm going to lay out my frozen tin can, just like that. And then we are going to draw our pattern onto the can with a marker. So just draw the dots, makes it a little easier. And you can either pick a constellation that you saw while you were exploring the night sky, or you can create something from your imagination. I'm going to do the constellation Draco. So this is a little dragon. And it starts with a little kind of triangle head down here. Like that. And then it goes up. 
and over and kind of down a few and over and you can have fun with this too it doesn't have to be exactly perfect and then once you've got your design on your can whether it's the constellation or your own creation you're going to take your hammer and your nail and you're going to very carefully now and if you need to ask an adult for help that's okay and we're just going to whoops see and it's a little tricky so we want to very carefully poke a hole so what this is going to do is create a little lantern light that you can put a candle in or a little battery operated tea light. I'm just going to do that. And the ice is in there to keep the can from kind of concaving on itself. Keeps helps keep its shape a little bit. So once you've got that done, you can get the ice out of there by chipping it away or letting it melt. And you'll have a cool little lantern with lights in there. So once you get the ice chipped or melted out of your can, you should have something that looks like this. You can put a light in there and you'll see different sized lights depending on how big you poke those holes. You can play around and see different ways. Okay, so how do we use a planisphere? It is super simple. Once you've printed out the template from InTheSky.org, you assemble it, and it's just two pieces, and you put them together. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find the month and the day and you're going to line that up with the time. So whatever time it is. And then, once you have that together, you are going to go outside and find north. And once you find north, you face north. And whatever you see here in the bottom of the window should match up with what's in the sky in front of you. Now, some prominent constellations at this time of year, we've got Gemini, Ursa Major, and then Draco here, and Ursa Minor is really little there, and Ursa Major has the Big Dipper in it. I know Big Dipper is one that I learned a lot growing up, so it is always visible out there almost. You can just go through. And at different times of the year, remember I said that it's four minutes each day. The stars rise four minutes earlier than the sun each day. So that's why the stars change so much. And there you have it. Have fun. Explore the stars.